It's a salmon wax cap, and they're quite, um, yeah, they're, well this one's a bit dirty, so I'd probably take a bit of a brush to it, but um, yeah, they're considered um, fine edible in the guidebook. Yeah. They sort of grade them, you know, and some are like mediocre edibles, and some are whatever, poisonous, hallucinogenic, or whatever, but these are considered... But it's one of the few that actually looks like a chanterelle, isn't it? Um, well, it? the chanterelle it has um, the thick edged ridges. So you would not get this kind of depth oh. in a chanterelle. They're much closer and they're much um, thicker. It does look a bit in the form as well. That's a chanterelle, isn't it? Um, no? no. It's oh, a wax crazy. cap. It's a wax cap as well. Yeah, this is the wrong season for chanterelles. A chanterelle would be way more vase shaped. Nice. Um, it would have more of this type of a shape, but the ridges would not be this this type of depth to it. Nice. Um, they do look similar, and, and I can see why they would be confused, but there's not normally this type of depth to a chanterelle's ridges. And these come in many different colors. There's red ones and yellow oh, nice. ones and white yeah. ones and gray ones. All, and, all edible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if, if you're going to put that on the pan now, what would you... Uh, how would you cook it? Butter. Butter. Butter and garlic. Plenty of yeah. butter and garlic. Sort of a purist. Right. So.